Hello everyone, and welcome to another Monster Hunter World video. This is The Game Economist, and today we're going to be talking about all of the highlights from the Spring Update reveal. Number one, the release date for Iceborne has finally been revealed. It's coming out in September, unfortunately. Some people were hoping it would be sooner in like August, but it's going to be in September. So it's going to be about four months long, and that gives you a lot of time to play any other games you were hoping to play. Uh, unfortunately, it also says that it's coming in the winter for PC. So PC is going to have to wait a while. We don't know what that means, winter, right? Like they could be talking about January or they could be talking about late November. So there's really no way to tell. I would assume they're going to try and get it in before Christmas, though. Number two, one of the things I noticed about their description of the expansion is that they're calling it a massive expansion. It's a small detail, but I think that it, it suggests that they're really trying to communicate just how much is going to be in this DLC. Number three, uh, we're getting essentially what's G rank. They're going to be calling it master rank. This is something we kind of already knew if you'd been keeping up with all of the rumors and gossip, we knew that we were going to be getting master rank. Number four, they revealed one of the new maps, kind of like the way we have in the base game, Ancient Force. Well, we're going to have something called Horfrost Reach in the Iceborne expansion. It is a big snowy area, and they, they're going to be talking about some of the monsters in that area as well. They talk about this area as if it's the first experience you're going to be having when the DLC comes out. Number five, they showed us a new plant, and it gives you a consumable called a hot drink. So we have cool drinks in the base game. You, you drink a cool drink when you get near the lava, and this stops your health bar from ticking down. Well, in the expansion, the Iceborne expansion, you're going to be drinking a hot drink, which is something from the previous games. And in this case, it's going to stop you from having troubles with your stamina. Number six, we're getting a new monster called Bonbaro. Bonbaro, the truth is, when I look at him, he's basically a large Barrett, and they've reskinned Barrett. Uh, it's the same skeleton. It, it looks very similar to the same moveset, except unlike Barrett, he actually looks kind of, he looks like he could be really dangerous. Uh, he's got large horns that can pick up trees, can make snowballs, and these are going to be part of his attack. So his environment is now part of his attack. Uh, but yeah, essentially he looks like a large Barrett. Number seven, the second monster that they show us is Beototus, and they suggest that he kind of goes underground and you have to do something to get him out of the ground because he's really dangerous when he's underground. Of course, they're referring to Screamer Pods. They actually show this in the trailer. Uh, somebody with the gray sword uses a Screamer Pod on Beototus and he flops up out of the ground. It's exactly just like the base game. So the first two monsters they show off kind of like a reskinned Gyrototus and a reskinned Barrett. I, I, I'm not criticizing them for that. They actually still looked really cool. You could tell that their movesets were different. They look tougher, they look more difficult, and they're in a new environment. So I'm sure the experience will be really fun, but you can tell they're kind of reusing resources from the previous game. What we really want to see are new skeletons, new, completely new wireframes, you know, that, that they're going to base new monsters off of. Number eight, at the end of showing us Beototus, they jump over to showing us Nargakuga, a monster that we all basically already knew was going to be in the game at this point. Uh, but yeah, we finally get to see him. We get to see his uh, moveset coming out really fast, and they suggested that he was going to be a bit more of a difficult fight in the game, so I'm looking forward to that. Number nine, after showing us Nargakuga, they show us the new Elder Dragon, who's also the flagship monster of Iceborne, Velkana. Velkana's going to have ice attacks, they tell us, but she's also going to, well, I assume it's a she, uh, it's also going to have a mysterious attack we don't know about. They hinted at it. They said that we would be interested in the attack. Who knows what it is? I noticed in the trailer that the handler mentioned something about singing just before they showed this monster, so it might be related to that. Highlight number 10, they've changed the slinger pods so that any weapon can use their slinger pods while that weapon is being used. This means there's probably going to be some significant changes to the sword and shield. If I had to guess, they haven't talked about the sword and shield, but that was kind of what the sword and shield did in the base game. You could use any item while holding onto the sword and shield. Not to mention, they also mentioned some items will be usable without sheathing your weapon. Now, I think this is a terrific change because it no longer punishes weapons that have long sheathing times like gun lances, lances, maybe heavy bow gun, right? Weapons like that. I think this is going to make all of the items work in a kind of static way for all of the different weapon classes. It's a really good idea. Number 12, and this is going to be a short one. They also mentioned that you're going to have a new move with the slinger pods where you're going to be able to fire all of your ammo at the same time. So this is a really exciting idea as well because one of the problems with the slinger pods is they don't do enough damage. You got your pod ammo and it's like you would never use it because your weapon's much stronger than your pod ammo. They also showed a combination with the Grace Word where part of the combination, the actual attack combination, was to use your slinger. So they're really, really investing in, in players using your slinger more. Uh, again, in the trailer, they showed the player, uh, he's attacking with the Grey Sword versus the new Beototus, and he's going to use a Screamer Pod. He uses the Screamer Pod as part of his uh, attack animation, his combo, and then he goes into his True Charge Slash. 
highlight number 13. So we're getting an upgrade to the slinger called the Clutch Claw. The Clutch Claw, it looks like it allows you to grapple directly onto the monster, and then it's kind of like mounting the monster essentially, right? Uh, the other thing, I just mentioned that one of your new moves is going to be to unload all of your ammo. This is part of the Clutch Claw. You grab onto the monster, and then you release all of your pod ammo onto the monster, maybe the monster's face, and this is called a flinch shot. So there's going to be a lot more interaction between your weapon using this Clutch Claw and using the new mechanics with the slinger pods where you can use your slinger ammo even if your weapon's out. Number 14, we're getting new combinations and new elemental types for all weapons. You can see it right here on the screenshot. Number 15, with the light bow gun, they showed that there was a new custom mod. I'm, I'm wondering if it actually works with the heavy bow gun or only with the light bow gun. The heavy bow gun has exclusivity to the shield mod, so I'm hoping this is exclusive to the light bow gun. Uh, anyways, they showed off a mod that allowed you to reload one ammo every time you dodged twice. So with the light bow gun, you have a fast dodge, and then if you press it again, it does a slide dodge. And and when they were going into their slide dodge, they would flip the gun around and it would add a new shot to their clip. They also mentioned if you equip multiple of these custom mods to your light bow gun, you're going to be able to reload more than one shot to your clip when you're using this type of evade for reloading. Uh, and that's all they talked about for weapons. They suggested that they're going to be talking about the rest of the weapons in a future update. So that could almost be its own thing, its own highlight that we're getting more updates down the road. Number 16, we learned that there's a deluxe version of the Iceborne expansion that you can buy and it's going to come with some exclusive content. In particular, it's coming with the Silver Knight layered armor set, which looks really good. I'm definitely going to be picking this up for myself. Number 17, we also learned that there's a pre-order bonus for ordering the Iceborne expansion. Ahead of time, you're going to get the Yukumo series layered armor set. I also want to mention that the price of the regular Iceborne expansion is only $40, so you can get the deluxe version for $10 more and you get the very cool layered armor set. Finally, the last reveal we got, number 18, was that Arch Tempered Nergigante is basically coming out tomorrow. Uh, it's a little longer than that. I mean, uh, from the making of this video, it's about 12 hours from now. So it's basically in one day Arch Tempered Nergigante is coming out. They talked briefly about it. I'm not going to talk briefly about it because he's about to come out. So you're, you're going to be able to play him tomorrow. And if you watch this video the day after I make it, anything I say here is going to be irrelevant anyways because you can go see him for yourself. All right, that's the end of my highlight reel. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.